Hello students, today we will solve this question. In a school, 5 upon 8 of the students are boys. If there are 240 girls, find the number of students in the school. Also find the number of boys in the school. So whenever the word problem is given, first of all you have to read the word problem properly and try to understand the two things. What is given in the question? and what is required in the question as in the question it is given 5 upon 8 of the students are boys so here this description is given for the number of boys if there are 240 girls number of girls are given 240 and what we have to find we have to find the total number of students in the school as well as the number of boys in the school when you read this word problem do you observe that the number of boys are given as 5 upon 8 and the number of girls are given 240. What is the difference in these two conditions? Number of girls are given 240. It means it is the exact number of girls. But with the number of boys, it is given in the fraction 5 upon 8. So it means you don't have exact number of boys over there. So number of boys are given 5 upon 8 of the students so what is this 5 upon 8 5 upon 8 is a fraction and we know that this fraction is a part of the whole quantity so this 5 upon 8 is a part of what so 5 upon 8 is a part of the students so it means first of all we should know that how many students are in the school but it is not given in the question because we have to find find the number of students in the school so it is not given that how many students are in the school so first of all we will consider the number of students in the school as x we can consider one variable x is a very common variable otherwise we can take any other variable so first of all we will consider the total number of students as x and then the number of boys are so number of boys are 5 upon 8 of the students. So number of boys in the school are 5 upon 8. It is written of the students. Focus on each and every word of the word problem. It will make your question very easy. 5 upon 8 of of means multiply with the number of students. So 5 upon 8 multiply with the number of students. Number of students we have considered as x. So it will be 5 upon 8 x. Now, number of girls are already given. Total number of girls are 240. So, number of girls in this school, that is equals to 240. Now, one more thing you have to keep it remember. Here you consider one variable x that is representing total number of students. And x is also used with the number of boys. So, whenever you assume a variable, you have to form one linear equation for this given quantities it means to say you have to set a relation with the number of students number of boys and number of girls so what is the relation with the students boys and girls as we know that the total number of students of the school that will be equals to number of boys in the school plus number of girls in the school so it means we can use this statement to form our equation total number of students that is equals to number of boys plus number of girls total number of students that we have x is equals to same as it is number of boys we have 5 upon 8x plus number of girls that is 240 here we are looking this is a variable term it is also a variable term so transpose all the variable terms in one side either in the left hand side or in right hand side so x is remain same and in the left hand side you will transpose 5 upon 8x towards left hand side and in transposing sign are changed so when you will transpose 5 upon 8x in the left hand side that will be minus 5 upon 8x is equals to remain same as it is 240 same as it is we have not done anything with the 240 now what do you observe over here now we have to subtract either you can take LCM and then simplify or you can use one direct concept for this one 
whenever we have a whole number and from that whole number we subtract any fraction or any part so what you have to do this denominator directly multiply with this whole number i repeat whenever you have a whole number and from that whole number you subtract any fraction so directly denominator should multiplied with this whole number so you will multiply 8 with x now it is 8x minus 5x remains same as it is so 8x minus 5x what is now 3x denominator remains same as it is upon 8 so like this you can solve this fraction directly 3x upon 8 is equals to 240 same as it is we have to find the value of x and whenever we want to find the value of any variable we write it same as it is and with that variable as many numbers or terms are given transpose each and every term or each and every number with the another side now x and 8 there is a upon sign between them so you have to transpose 8 to the another side and when you will transpose it sign will be definitely change so x same as it is is equals to 240 same as it is from lhs 8 will be transposed to the rhs so when you will transpose it will go in multiplication because here 8 is given in division now 3 and x there is no any sign between them so when you will transpose this 3 sign will be changed so here it is a multiplication so multiplied by 3 when you will transpose it will be divided by 3 so now x is equals to 240 into 8 upon 3 now you will simplify 3 1 to 3 3 8 to 24 and 1 0 same as it is so it is 80 multiplied by 8 and when you will multiply you will get your product 640 so what is the 640 this is the value of x is equals to 640 so what is x over here in the question x we have assumed total number of students so it means total number of students is equals to 640 as well as we have to also find the number of boys in the school so the number of boys is equals to from the total student if we remove the number of girls what will left number of boys so from 640 we will subtract the number of girls 240 and we will get number of boys 400 or we can also find number of boys that is equals to we have assumed over here number of boys that is equals to 5 upon 8 so 5 upon 8 x so that is 5 upon 8 multiplied with the x the value of x is 640 so 5 upon 8 will be multiplied with 640 you will simplify 8 1 8 8 8 64 then multiply same answer you will get number of boys in the school 400 so follow the concept prepare it and practice